Hello everyone, the chart guys have been working on an introductory technical analysis course for quite some time now and after surveying hundreds of traders with what would be the most sought after information regarding technical analysis, we came up with this course, When to Enter and Exit. It covers over five hours of the basics on when to enter and exit and we feel after watching this course it will help build a foundation of technical analysis knowledge which will eliminate a lot of the uncertainty in the world of trading stocks. So the course outline, we go over the psychology of trading, establishing a game plan, the different indicators we use to signal a bullish and bearish entry, how to recognize support and resistance levels, poor entries where traders make mistakes, exit targets, how do you know where to sell your trade, where to place stop losses, that's very important, minimizing losses is what keeps you in the game long term, my personal preparations, how I go about getting ready for each trading day, and then piecing it all together, utilizing all the information we just learned and how to apply that in the real world for making successful, profitable trades. As a bonus, we also include a lot of information on finding entries and exits utilizing patterns. And you can find these patterns on every time frame on pretty much any stock and commodity trading. And certainly being able to recognize those patterns can give you an edge as well. So we hope you will check this out. Again, it's an introductory level course. So if you are new to technical analysis and trying to get a firm grasp on things and seeming feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then this course is for you. I hope you check it out. Appreciate you watching. Looking at Apple on the daily and weekly time frame. So we had a resistance 120.50. That was the highest price we had hit. Normal consolidation. A new support is established here at 119.37. And then the open today, we had a quick shot straight up to 120.45 and that kind of came out of the blue we'll look at it on the shorter term time frames in just a moment but it established that resistance and then the bears took over again the range the trading range the past three days hasn't given much opportunity for day traders so certainly whenever i see that i'll just avoid it and find something else but we have that clear resistance now a bit of a double top at 120.50 and we're looking at two supports here 119.37 and then down to the previous consolidation low of 118.21 the weekly time frame, still very bullish, nice strong close, lack of an upper wick showing profit taking. And we're looking, if we break 120.50, there's resistance back here of 120.61. And then there's not much resistance. Might as well show you. Let's zoom out here. So here's this 120.61 level. And the next resistance, there is not much until up in the 128 range. So we would look at psychological resistances after that, 121, 122, 123. But you can see once we clear that hurdle of 120.61, there's some decent space to the upside. So we'll see if the bulls continue strong here. And if we get the S&P 500 going to a new all-time high, we should see the Apple bulls head into the low to mid 120s. So still looking good in that regard. But let's look now at the shorter term time frames and this open that was a pretty strange open. Let's look at it on the one minute time frame. And zooming in. So you can see what happened is right at the open, there was a little run up in volume right before the open. And then we hit that high right away and dropped really significantly from that high. And then let's zoom out and look at it at the five minute time frame. From there, it was just a pullback. Low of the day was hit, lower highs, lower low, lower high, lower low. So the bears clearly controlled the trend from that point. And once that high was hit, oftentimes you'll see the bulls try and break the high of the previous day or a key resistance level. And if they're unable to do it in the first 15 minutes, you'll see profit taking. And that's because more often than not, the, the range of the day oftentimes will be set in the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes of trading. And if we see a rejection from a key resistance in the first 15 minutes, we see the bulls bail, lock in their profit because they figure, okay, we're not going to break that level, lock it in while I have it, and then we'll reassess the situation. And then we often see a pullback from that level. So the first 15 minutes hitting a key resistance is very key because that's going to dictate what the psychology of traders is going to be from a key level. In terms of moving average support, we held the 100 period moving average on a couple tests this week. So we'll keep an eye on that level. You can see once we gained it, we back tested it and held it and bounced just above it. That's at 119.58 and continuing to slowly ascend. So the bulls are absolutely in control overall. We see the 10-day chart here. Nice uptrend, 10-day hourly chart. 
And we'll look for that to continue. Again, we're just pretty much waiting for the S&P 500 to either give us a an all-time high break or a loss of the middle Bollinger Band support, showing us that the bears are taking control. And that's going to dictate which direction we're looking at on individual names, obviously, with the strong correlation to the S&P 500. So if we see all-time highs for the S&P 500 coming up, we're looking for Apple to continue, like I just said, with some space on the weekly time frame before key resistance. So I appreciate you watching. Hope you have a great weekend and we will see you soon.